Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about Amazon. So I don't know about you guys, but I am obsessed with Amazon. So I swear like every month there's gotta be something that I buy. And this whole lockdown period, I'm pretty sure like every other day I get an Amazon purchase coming through. So um I don't know about you guys, but Amazon is the plug for everything so i thought why not give you guys a little haul i had to do one um but if you're new to my channel welcome welcome if you're not thanks for coming back and yeah so let's get into the video um, here is my huge Amazon box which I had to compress I had a lot of stuff so I do have several categories so I'm gonna try and sort of put them together with what makes sense so it makes it a little bit easier to follow along so dental care Crest 3d white brilliance toothpaste so I've been on and off with this but I used to use this a lot when I was at uni and it did help over time it, as long as you're being consistent so obviously you know you see better results that way so I decided to make a repurchase of this yeah so if you're looking for some teeth whitening toothpaste there is one so next on the list in terms of dental care is my water flosser now this might be extra but i don't know i just like how it looked and it actually works for me because i used to be really lazy with flossing so i just thought i might as well find something else that might actually help me to be a little bit more consistent and that way i'm not like chucking loads of floss in the bin so you know I'm trying to be less wasteful it comes with the cable for you to charge it so as long as you've got like a plug you should be all right it comes with like eight different attachments so that's one of them this is just the jet um i forgot what it's called but it basically just helps like clean out your teeth with the water and then which is what i use generally and then this has the scraper tool. Here are the other attachments. And then that's just an, a spare attachment for the jet thing. So now we're moving on to beauty and skincare. I got some disposable mascara wands. I got a pack of these because I do my individual lashes at home. Not saying that I'm a professional because I'm not. Just saying. So and then it kind of like a yeah like a lipstick applicator as well but I don't know if I'll use that as of yet but I'm sure I'll find some use for it. These are the QL? 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 Oh my god. So yeah, I'll put the dimensions or the dimensions? Oh my god. The exact ones that I bought, but the, the length is 18 millimeters. Yeah, I bought two. So I'm going to try it out and see how it works. So I try to use them but it didn't really work out in my favour. These are not the ones I'm wearing. Um, I bought those ones from eBay. 
but so far they look decent so I can't wait to test them out if you'd like me to update you on how these do let me know and then yeah yeah for salon pro hair bonding glue so that's what that looks like not really what they're meant for but I tried using the like semi-permanent lashes and they sting so bad like I've tried to use a few brands and just no, they never worked for me so as before I bought this I used to use the duo glue but I'm just sick and tired of using that now because it just stings like every time like I take a shower or I'm washing my face but these ones it only stung like the first time but after that I've I haven't had much issues with them and you know they still won so you know they're doing something yeah. I know it's real ghetto but if it if it ain't broke don't fix it right a few moments later the things or tools I use for my individual lashes so I have the straight tweezer and then I also bought the curved tweezer as well, just so I can get in my lashes. So yeah, so it came in like a black pouch, which was quite handy because I could put all my other stuff in there. So like, let's say I'm traveling, I can just pop that in here. So I decided to get a portable fan they do have other colours, so there's white, black, pink, and I think that's it, and then obviously the green. So I wanted the pink initially, but they didn't have it in stock, so I decided to opt for the green one. So um, I wanted to buy this for like the longest time. I should have bought this ages ago when I went on holiday to Nigeria for my brother's wedding. That was very much needed, but I didn't buy it at the time, which was... Anyway, so, um, but this is good for while I'm doing my lashes. This is good for drying my setting spray. I used this earlier today, which is so helpful. And best thing, I don't have to use battery. So, you know, you can just plug it in with the USB cord and you're good to go. The battery lasts a long time. Since I've got this, I haven't actually charged it yet. So it's been, Brand. So next are these like travel size jars like well yeah tra travel size like containers it came in like a pack of six I think yeah it came in a pack of six I use it to make my own lip scrubs so or if I need to travel and I need something like small that I can put stuff in that I don't want to carry a massive bulk of and it comes with like a spatula so if you need to like mix stuff then that's a good idea so I feel like this quarantine period has like made me be a little bit more kinder to myself in terms of like self-care because I never really used to take it as serious but now that we have so much time I don't have an excuse and neither do you so I found a bunch of sheet masks on Amazon so this is the Nature Republic Real Nature Mask comes as a pack of 14 so you have quite a lot of like cheap masks to choose from so I've got some tomato they're Korean by the way just if anybody cares about that and I'll just show you like a few more and then there's olive shea butter green tea, aloe, orange, so tea, tea, oh my god I can't speak, tea tree, acai berry, acai berry, I don't know, 
cucumber, chamomile. Yeah, so you've got quite a lot to last you for a while. I've got quite a lot of sheet masks now, so I need to start buying them. So for 14 sheet masks, that's pretty good if you ask me. So, <laughs> buying Super Dragon Boots. <laughs> so next on the list is my quartz, well, rose quartz jade roller. And then it's it's got like a little like, I've forgotten what this thing's called, but you meant to do that. Wow, I'm so shit of explaining things, but that's what it's meant to do. So next on my list is the Turata, Turata? I don't know, girl. So um, that helps like suck out all your nasty pores. So it came in the box. It does come with different um, heads, sizes, things. So that's what the little head, different heads look like. That's the cable to charge it. And then that's the other one. I'm not quite sure what that does. But yeah, I'll still have to like play around with it. And then that's like a little massage ball. And then it comes with like spare sponge thingies and the rubber that's in the device. Next on the list are the silicone face masks application brushes so that's it there so easy convenient all of that for so i use this for my face masks and yeah like i kind of got fed up with using like actual brushes to do my face masks and i always forget to wash it out which is really bad and then it goes hard and then yeah so this is just easy you just you know wash it off and it's brand new again so next on my skincare slash beauty list is this bad boy which is my facial steamer um i don't remember what it's called but i put the name picture there so this will be one of like my favorite things that I've purchased from Amazon because this makes such a huge difference in your skincare regimen like why did I not have this before like nobody told me about this if you don't have this you miss it out girl go get it it comes with the it's like a extract extraction tools if you know what you're doing then you should be all right but knowing me i don't know what i'm doing so i'm not touching this so i'm gonna leave my poor vacuum to do what it needs to do so yeah comes with a measuring cup don't go over the amount by the way i think the other day i used it and i think i put too much and it got on my leg and that hurt yeah so i put it on my instagram at some point and people were like asking me like oh my god where is that i don't remember how much i bought it for but mm, i think it was like 39.99 or something so if you're looking for an inexpensive facial steamer you might want to check this one out so next on the, my list of skincare i decided to be bougie I got a skincare fridge. I'll probably show you guys a clip of what that looks like. I can't really pick it up because it's already on and it's just sitting there. I decided to get myself a skincare fridge because why not? So um, it's called the Subcold 4 litre mini fridge. So I'll probably stick it there. So um, I got it like 39 99 something like that so pretty good for um 
what it's worth so i put all my skincare stuff like my moisturizer my eye cream a jade roller put that in there and then like it gets super cold and then i just use that in the morning oh my god it makes such a huge difference i put my sheet masks in there and then i put my serums in there when products that are cold it helps like wake you up and it also helps um to prolong your skincare products so if you're bullshit like me get your fridge next item is to do with pedicures it's the queso pedicure citrus squeeze mango and citrus foot soak so I decided to start it smells so good but um yeah so I decided to get a foot soak because I didn't want to use my bath soap um, or shower gel that we use in the house so decided to get um, this and this is really good um, I tried to do my pedicures like every two weeks so I do mine and my mum I like that it's not like super strong it's quite gentle on the skin or well, on the feet and then yeah so my mum purchased like a foot bath thing foot spa? foot bath? what's it called? and decided to just take it out and start using it so yeah so to go with the whole pedicure part spa i decided to get the scraper and when i tell you this scrapes off the dead skin you better go get it it's really good um careful though it's quite sharp because my mom cut herself yeah she got a little bit too excited it comes in a pack of two so this is the foot smoother thing so it's got the rough bit on the side and it's got the smooth part on the side on this side so yeah so good good price they were so and then it also comes with the uh, cuticle remover thing that helps get rid of dead skin so that's what I got called the mystic moments shea butter it's 100 percent refined which i didn't really know what that meant i should have really read that but i didn't so um unfortunately i don't have the original package so i had to put it in a dolmy <laughs> oh no no yeah. no no i know i'm fresh it's it's really not every day but I kind of had no choice because it started leaking because after a while shea butter melts in in a warmer climate I guess because it was a little bit warmer that at that time it started to melt a little bit so yeah I had to like sort that out so I found some like empty jars that I had in the shed so I washed it and put that in but before I did that I had to actually whip this and when i tell you yeah that was so long but i suppose i learned a little something so i guess can't really complain so next time i guess i know what to do but um i managed to fit that into that and i also had to get a jam jar to put some of it in as well because that did, couldn't fit all of it so that is two jars worth of shea butter. Like shea butter is really good for your feet. So yeah, so I'm definitely using that. Um, and it does make a difference actually. So if you're looking for some shea butter, go on Amazon. So this is the Gaia Labs Peppermint Essential Oil. So I got that in 10 mils. That's pretty small, but um, I guess they didn't have any bigger sizes but if you find any bigger sizes then that is a great but um so far i've been loving this one um it's really good 
and because I've been looking for some oils that help with my itchy scalp basically so peppermint's really good for that so I put that in my shampoos I put that in my conditioner I put that in my rice water I've been trying to grow my hair this is the bedhead hardhead extra stronghold hairspray so I got this in a pack of two but um, I will link both of those in the description box so you can buy one or you can buy two up to you um but yeah so i don't know about you guys but i'm sick and tired of god's bee especially the spray like it used to get so annoying when i used to like make an effort with my hair and the got to be spray I was just doing at the, the most like I just want you to lay my wig that's all I ask so yeah so um I watched Laraja Andrea's video and she used this product um she, well she said it was really good so after I watched the video I was actually like Amazon so went on Amazon and I purchased it and I've used this a few times when I actually can be asked to lay it down this week because <laughs> most of the time I don't because I'm lazy and um, I don't like sleeping with wigs on most of the time but when I do I do use this so I would definitely recommend and it doesn't like spray all crazy like the got to be one does so and lasts a really long time it's really stiff now and um, it smells really good as well. So it doesn't like leave a shiny like residue like the got to be one does. Well, in my opinion, anyway, the nozzle is slightly different. So yeah, so you can um, add just as many layers as you would with the got to be. I I think I only use like two layers. I think and. Um, Personally, I found that the sprays work for me. I don't really use the gels. I only use it maybe on my baby hairs or something, but most of the time I use the sprays to lay my lace. So, yeah, so, so far so good with this one. So, this one is the Gummy Professional Styling Wax Ultra Hold edge control and um, I saw Uche I'm pretty sure it was Uche that she posted on her Instagram and I screenshotted it ages ago and then all of a sudden I just found it again I don't know how but I found it and then I decided to just purchase it on Amazon I use this mainly for my natural hair I don't use this for my weaves or anything like that because I think that makes it a little bit too like hard so um yeah so it smells um, it smells not too bad actually I don't mind it um it smells a bit like strawberry I think yeah a bit like strawberry but um yeah so far so good um I've sort of always struggled with like edge controls that actually tame my hair so luckily this one is doing quite well when I tried it so I would definitely recommend if you're looking for an edge control. So I've been on the hunt for um, a purple shampoo, a bit like Shimmer Lights, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know about. But I wanted to try this brand for Nola. Um, if my video, my watercolouring video for this hair, um, I don't know when I'm going to post that. It's either before this video or after. But I used that when I was bleaching um, the hair initially because obviously it didn't come like this. I bleached it to myself. This is the Fenola No Orange Shampoo. And then I also bought the Fenola No Orange Mask. Yeah. Um, so this is for counting out um, orange tones, hence why it's called No Orange. I use the mask and the the shampoos together so it doesn't leave the hair like super dry and um, 
yeah this is like super super pigmented so it looks like more blue but I don't know if you guys can see that but it looks like super super pigmented so and um I would say that you will need to wear gloves because it's going to stain your hands so yeah don't don't use this product without gloves. I was on the hunt for a new pair of hair straighteners. So this is the Kaposi Professional uh, Hair Straightener. It locks, so there's a little like nudge here and it opens and then you put it back and it closes. So yeah, so um, I've used this a few times, gets my hair like super straight, especially my raw hair. And yeah, um, I think it heats up to 230 degrees. Make sure you put on some heat protectant. Yeah, they have a wider plate, um, but I didn't want to get that one. I wanted a just the standard um, size. So it's got like an LED screen which is great because I hate when like the buttons are actually inside of the straightener. So I like that the controls are on the side and you can actually see the heat going up. So I do appreciate that. So if you're looking for a good pair of hair straighteners, I would definitely recommend this one. And I like that it comes with like a pouch as well. It did come with like a mat, but I don't know where that is. So next on the list are my curling wand. It comes with I think five or six barrels. So I use like the medium sized one. I use this one because I like like medium sized curls, which is what I use for this hair. I curled this hair like last week or something like that. So, and I haven't worn it apart from that one time. So they're interchangeable, so you just, oh, how do I do this again? Oh, so there's a button here in the front, and there's a button here at the back, so you click both and the attachment comes off. And then you just stick whatever barrel until you hear the click. So, yeah, so this is probably the biggest one. I think it is the biggest one. So this is for nice beachy waves. So yeah, it gets really hot. I think gets up to 230 as well so it's pretty pretty hot I think I've burnt myself a few times to know and um, yeah so it's also like a digital screen as well so yeah pretty good so let's move on to tech but I bought an LED like light which is what i'm using at the moment i do have like some clips of what it looks like um i'm also using the softbox and my window is here so just to bring some light into the room yeah i wanted to get a extra light so this works great it does come with like settings where you can dim the light or increase the light so you can go from cool to warm so it is really flexible in terms of what you want for your lighting so yeah um and the battery life is pretty good so this you can charge so yeah works great it's portable um you can stick it on your little tripod or you can use your big tripod so it works either way um i'm actually using like my little tripod i forgot what it's called but i'll probably link it i'll probably send, show a picture somewhere here and it's like a you can like bend it so i've sort of like bent it around my tripod which is what i'm using to hold my camera so I found how to make sure it's stable so it works great. I bought myself a laptop keyboard protector. Um, I've been meaning to buy these for ages but I just don't, I just couldn't find one 
that I liked. I was gonna get a colourful one, but then I thought, mm, nah. So yeah, so this works great. It's not bulky and you can just clean it, which is what I need to do to clean this thing. Yeah, just because I normally eat while I'm on my laptop and I hate when crumbs get on my laptop and in between the keyboard. So if you're someone that eats while you're using your laptop, make sure you have a protector so it doesn't like seep through the cracks. Because trust me, it's, it, it ain't cute. I bought myself a phone mount for my tripod. So if you're looking for, um, a mount that can hold your phone your android this is perfect i already have a tripod so i all i have to do is just stick this on my tripod and put my phone and i can record if you don't have a camera you can use your phone to record your videos and then i also bought this bluetooth remote so i can take my pictures so if you're one that's sort of struggling to take pictures and you're so used to having people take pictures for you this is perfect because you can just uh, connect your phone to this and you can just take pictures whenever you like so and that is what i'm going to do so hopefully i can get some nice pictures um, you know it's handy so you don't have to put your phone on self timer i have to run back and forth because that's a bit long so yeah although um the one that i bought didn't come with a battery i might find one that actually includes batteries but for the most part um you can just search the battery size and you can just get that as well or you can buy it at a shop or something well, I won't really call it tech, but I bought a screen protector. I don't know if you can see like the reflection, but um, I bought it because of my pen. So my screen feels a bit like more like paper whenever I take notes or sketch or whatever. Next, I got a iPad case and it's called T Tomovo, Tomovo iPad case. So I decided to treat myself for a new iPad because my old one was just doing the most. And then to go with my iPad, I found the Miko. Yeah, so not gonna lie, the Apple, pencil so went on amazon got me a stylus pen i'm pretty sure it was like 20 pound or something like that 29.99 of that sort so much better than the apple price because i'm sorry mm -mm. you took my money for the ipad not this one too it works pretty good it came with a extra pen thing i don't really know what it's called but i'll probably like insert a video somewhere in detail so you can see what it really looks like and how it came and all of that good stuff so i just put my pen in the, this little compartment and yeah that is pretty much it so it works great and i'm pretty satisfied so next we have the bolton wireless headphones they're basically like the dupes for the apple airpods if you don't want to spend that much on a pair of headphones my mum actually bought these but i just thought i'd show them in the video so far she likes it so no complaints so next category is hobbies so um i've been sort of on and off with trying to learn how to play guitar but you know i decided to go to amazon and purchase another one a few moments later but i'm back i'm pretty sure it's called the johnny brook guitar so so got myself a, a new one i wanted to get a black one 
but um because my old one felt kind of childish so i'm gonna give that one away this is a acoustic guitar and it comes in um a set like with all the stuff that you need apart from a clamp which is what i had to buy separately but for the most part it came with um extra strings it came with a tuner which is helpful because i have no idea what i'm doing and um what else did it come with mm, it came some it came with some guitar picks as well which is helpful because i was about to buy a whole different set of guitar picks so i'm glad i did buy that it comes with a guitar bag as well but i will probably buy one eventually that is much thicker um so my guitar doesn't get damaged so so here's the bag it does come with an instruction manual so yeah so it tells you how to change the strings tune the guitar um to clean it and it comes with a strap as well there's the strap i haven't put it on yet i might get my dad to do that for me and then it comes with like little tools to when it comes to changing the strings so that so what i bought separately was this it's a guitar clamp you can use it for ukuleles electric guitar i think i got this wooden one which is a nice contrast to the black that looks like so yeah um i used to have a clamp for my old one but i have no idea where i put it and after i cleaned my room and like redecorated this part i just i have no idea where it is now on to decor and home organization I got this like grid photo wall deco thing I, forgot, I don't really know how to explain it but I will show clips because it's hung on my wall so I've put like my sunglasses and I think I'm, I might like attach some Polaroid photos at some point I haven't done it yet but I'll do it at some point once I fix my Polaroid camera next I got a diffuser i'll probably insert like other clips of it because it was actually plugged in but the diffuser is good for bedrooms good for office space you know if you need to um zen some negativity out your life girl yeah do that well i wanted to make an effort into revamping my room so and that diffuser is definitely one of them because it makes me feel like relaxed let's go with that um i bought the mystic moments which is also from the brand of the shea butter so yeah this is the fragrance oil in the scent of valina so i like valina smells i like musky smells so i ended up getting the other scent in sandalwood and it smells really good like they do sell like sets of aromatherapy um, scents but i didn't want to like buy um ones that i knew i probably wouldn't like so i decided to just buy them individually you're only meant to put like two or three drops in your diffuser anyway especially for this one so you're probably gonna make use out of this small um amount i bought a like a magazine newspaper rack i don't know if you can see it but it's right there but i will post a clip here so you can see what it looks like it looks a lot bigger than i expected maybe because i didn't read the dimensions just a nice way to arrange my makeup palettes because i have no space to put them so that worked great in the corner over there um i got some self-adhesive hooks for my wall decoration so because i didn't want to um, put any holes in my wall so if you're looking to get some self-adhesive hooks 
so you don't damage your walls this is perfect so um i think it holds up to five kg of weight so just be careful what exactly you hang it's clear as well so it doesn't have that ugly look when you hang stuff i think i got a pack of six for organization purposes index stickers and sticky notes so i like to use these which are the index stickers so i can put them in books when i'm reading them i've used it to reorganize my bible so i've got all the names on the side so i can easily get to them so it's a nice pop of color to my bible as well and then i also use it in in my bible for when i make like little notes because i have no room to put it so yeah just helps me remember certain things 